welcome back to The Seekers, exploring your world. I'm your host, Kelsey Flannery, and this is my co-host, Madison Stewart. Today, we are going to be talking about popular religion in the Arab world. And it's your lucky day, folks, because we have a specialist. Introduce our specialist for us, Madison. Well, you guys, this is my specialist, Mr. Tony Hudson. Come here, Tony. Woo Great to have Tony. you on the show. Sarkanad, thank you. Thank you, ladies. It's great to be here. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Tony. Oh, well, Ahlai, uh, uh It's yeah. me, Tony. Ana Adros, fi Ajemiat Georgia Southern. Ana Adros Aldin. That's why we have you here today. Yeah, we have yeah. you here today for that. So, yeah. um, you know, I'm Tony Hudson. Our religion expert. So, Tony, tell us about some popular religions in the Arab world. So, in the Arab world, I mean, first you really have to define the Arab world. Um, a lot of people like to think that it's just the Middle East, mm -hmm. um, you know, from multimedia um, and just studies that have gone on. Um, people seem to think that the Middle East is just this one subset. Um, it actually stretches from um, Morocco, from those shores, all the way uh, to Pakistan, closer to India. Um, so in that, there's a lot of different, uh, there's a lot of history, a lot of different cultures that um, make up the Arab world. Um, so starting with the religion of that, um, it is the birthplace of three of the main religions in the world. Really? Um, you have Islam, um, which is going to be the prominent one. Um, you also have Christianity, and you have um, Judaism. Mm -hmm. um, they all kind of center around the same place if you're looking at the Jerusalem area. Um, and from those, you have subsets. Um, I mean, there are hundreds that actually come from these three main religions. Um, but, you know, in that area, those are the main three that we're going to be looking at. Right. So, focusing on Islam, since you said that that was the major religion in the area, tell us some um, ways these people interact with their religion, both governmentally and on a personal level. Okay. Um, so, here in the United States, you know, we like to discuss and say that uh, we have a separation of church and state. Mm -hmm. um, whereas in a lot of Arab cultures, um, a lot of the countries there, um, religion is actually placed inside of the government. So and closely how, tied. Yeah, very closely tied. Um, you know, Saudi Arabia, for example, uh, they mix their religious values with their government. Um, you know, sometimes you'll hear it referred to as um, a certain law, their law that they go into. Mm -hmm. Um, whereas you have places uh, that are more kind of separation like Morocco. Um, you know, the Kingdom of Morocco, there is a monarchy there. Oh. Um, and they value, uh, they do keep God, their religion, as um, you know, Allah, as their uh, ma major, you know, driving force. Right. But <laughs> I guess that's the way to say it. Um, but there is a separation. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so where have your travels taken you in the Arab world? Wow. Oh, uh, well, I mean, recently, uh, Morocco. Mm -hmm. um, that was an experience. And how did you um, see religion play out in their daily lives there? Hmm. I mean, I want to say the main difference is. Uh, Whereas here, you know, you'll see a lot of churches, maybe a few synagogues um, around, especially here in Georgia. But um, in Morocco, there were a lot more mosques. Um, oh. It is a mostly Arabic and mostly Muslim country. Um, and there, they, uh, I mean, there are mosques almost, you know, every, every other street corner. Right, um, yeah. But really, you see people, um, you know, shops will close down in the middle of the day. Um, so that they can go pray. Um, you'll hear the call of prayer early in the morning and you know, also in the evening and around noon. Uh, so that was something to bear witness because, you know, me going shopping, not used to going at, you know, around 12 or 1 and being told, hey, I'm sorry, we're shut down, you know. So that was a major difference that I saw. Mm -hmm. So how do these shows during Ramadan, I know that plays a big role, um, in their religion, why are these shows so important for their religion? Like, what does this have to do with anything? 
Okay, so I'm um, definitely speaking about um, Muslims and the Islamic mm -hmm. um, religion. You know, during Ramadan, there will be a lot of shows that uh, will, like you were saying, showcase the uh, aspects that will tell the stories of um, you know, Muhammad and uh, the prophets there. Um, those shows are meant to, they're some serious, you know, they're, they're entertaining, they're meant to be entertaining and keep people engaged. Um, there are also some shows really meant for the youth as well. Um, and I mean, it, you won't turn on a t television station and not see a um, actual program on about religion during that time. It's all geared towards um, Ramadan and, uh, you know, people really love that. I mean, they even have a full, you know, top chart <laughs> list right. of, you know, what's the best, so it's great. Great, great. Um, well, we're happy to have you, and thanks for coming and sharing no. your expertise with us on The Seekers. The Seekers. <laughs> thank All you, right, Thank you, Mr. Tony Hudson. Thank you. Tasha Rafna, sir. <laughs> Tasha Rafna. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Earlier in the week, we interviewed a young woman from Saudi Arabia. Let's look at what she had to say about religion in her country. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Ismi Madison. Wa ismi Kelsey. And I say Mara. Ma huwa dini kaifa tabuli. Dini al-Islam. Aadat Allah bi shtinab na nawahi wa amtisar awam. Ma hiya aadinat al-Uqa al-Mujuda fi dawladin. Dini al-Islam huwa dini al-Raif al-Mumaris wa al-Minat al-Arabiya al-Saudi. ما هي أشكال الوسائل الإخلامية التي تستخدم لتعرف على دين؟ أحب أحب سماع الجواب خاصة لثلاثة علماء الدكتور مصطفى محمود والدكتور عدنان إبراهيم والدكتور أحمد أنا أعتبرهم قدوة لي. ما هي برنامج أو تلفزيون التي تهبي ماشا حتفا في رمضان؟ أحب مشاهدة برنامج سميها بإسلاميها للدكتور أحمد عمارة. في ذلك هل هنا فصل بين أبين ودولة؟ في السعودية لا يوجد فصل بين الدين والدولة، فقانون الدولة يحكم بالشريعة الإسلامية. شكراً. شكراً. أشرفنا. وأنا كمان. Thanks for watching The Seekers. Make sure to tune in with us next time when we explore Russia's relationship with Syria.